Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I just love that kind of action. That's what they're eating out here, these small little coffee tubes. Look and look, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, Marcel, that's a good one. Big fish on a little bait. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Hook and Look Splash, a splash of fishing information from an underwater point of view. I'm Kim Stricker, and together with my friend and fishing guide, Marcel Veenstra, we'll show you the significance of matching the size of the available forage from above the surface as well as below. One fish at a time, Marcel. That's what we're going to do. Yep. This little bitty tube catches big fish, I hope. It will catch big fish. <laughs> there we go, right there. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know what these fish are like here. Oh, man. It's a, an Indian River special. <laughs> That's a good fish. It's a real nice fish. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Look at that. Oh, yes. <laughs> An Indian River stud. This right here is the main attraction here in Indian River, Michigan, and draws anglers from all over the country. The inexplicable expectation knowing that each cast could possibly produce your personal best smallmouth bass. And he wanted that little two and three quarter inch coffee tube, that little baby. Look at that belly. But that's that's what's awesome about these lakes here. They, oh, they have pigs like this. Yep. And it, I mean, it, there's no doubt it's the gobies. Burt and Mullet Lakes are connected to the Great Lakes by the Inland Waterway, which is a navigable route for small craft between Lake Huron and Lake Michigan. This recreational thoroughfare also allowed a direct path for the non-native round gobies to inhabit these connected inland lakes and rivers. And the resident smallmouth bass have gorged on them ever since. Throughout our underwater endeavors in the Great Lakes and connected waters, our observations have revealed that the overall size of the round gobies varies regionally. I would say that most of the areas average a size of three and a half to four inches. Yet some regions seem to produce gobies over six inches in length. With that said, what we've seen the last couple years here in Indian River was that most of the gobies were unusually small, both during the spring when the fish were bedding and the following year in the fall. The gobies we observed averaged only two and a half inches in length at best. They were plentiful, yet small. So as fishermen, it raises the question that when it comes to gobies, does size matter? This was the reasoning behind Marcel and I downsizing from a standard three and a half inch coffee tube to a two and three quarter inch baby fat coffee tube. And it was working. Like fly fishermen who match the hatch when attempting to closely imitate emerging insects, we were matching the size of the available bait fish. They're darting all over the place. There's all kinds of gobies. So that's basically what we're imitating with that little tube. And these gobies are about the exact same size as that two and three quarter inch coffee tube. Right now, I mean, I'm sitting on the shallowest part, you know, of the sand flat. So as soon as it breaks down, there's a, a, that little trough there. Uh, I think that's where you're going to spot bass if I had to make a prediction. The bottom here has a lot of sand grass. Kim, right now I have a s fish swimming out towards you from the shallows. I can't tell what it is, but there's definitely something coming in your direction right now from the boat. I'm looking right at the break right now. It's a big smallmouth. He's curious. He's right here in front of me. Yep, that tells the story right there. He's moving right down here where you said he would. 
That's unbelievable how that works. I mean, he was exactly where the, he was supposed to be. It was hard for me to tell what it was. I seen the big bronze body coming off it. It looked like a very good sized fish too. I already know that, I already know that. Another one of them dandies. They're all dandies. They're all dandies, aren't they? That's the thing about fishing up here, man, I'm telling you. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that, look at that. Oh, I just love that kind of action. Very nice. Very nice. Jump into this. Jump into that, will you? Boy, that's a dandy of myself. Look at that smallie. What a stud. God, they're all Ain't nice. That, yep. It picked up that little Strike King, a nice hard hit on that little Strike King tube. Oh, my the God. Coffee tube, but look yep. at that. Two and three quarter inch. Little bitty. That's what they're eating out here, these small little coffee tubes. Perfect colors, goby imitation with that little bit of purple in there, yep. green pumpkin. That's magic goby. And that's the end reward. Awesome fish. Round gobies are plentiful because they're extremely prolific breeders and spawn often. Also, it's interesting to learn how they spawn. Watch this. Look at that big old goby. Oh, yeah. Big chunk. That is a big one. Those were indeed goby eggs. The male prepares a nest site under rocks or wood such as this. Then the female will distribute clusters of eggs, which adhere to the undersurface of the roof of the nest cavity. Gobies have even been found spawning inside discarded beer cans with their eggs stuck to the ceiling. While we were fishing, Marcel and I also came across billowing schools of bait fish. Man, a lot of bait. Just suspended from the bottom up to half of the water column, bait fish. We knew those couldn't be gobies because gobies are bottom dwellers. But what were they? To find out, let me show you how convenient it is to deploy an AquaView Revolution Micro camera. They made a reel that goes on this, which makes it easy to deploy the camera. Here, let's drop this down like this. And this also uh, will record. There they are, there they are right there. See them? Look, 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 mm, yeah, look, 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 yep. look. It's perch. Yep, lots of perch. Young of the year perch that appeared to be in the same two and a half inch range as the gobies. So on this trip, size did matter. Big fish on a little bait. If you're interested in catching an average of quality size smallmouths, you need to treat yourself and come fish the lakes around Indian River, Michigan. Not only does this region grow giants, this is without a doubt a fisherman friendly community offering a variety of accommodations to suit your needs. Conventional hotels with pool and plenty of parking, clean mom and pop owned motels who personally go out of their way to cater to their guests. Comfortable cabins, some even riverside with boat docking and boat rental. You can find a map and an entire accommodations listing on the Indian River Tourist Bureau website. So check it out and check in. And don't forget, you can find a list of the products featured in this video, including links for purchase below the video description. So check that out as well. And thanks for watching.